Hello and welcome to our first software tutorial using Pages. Pages is Apple's word processing software. We're going to be using Pages version 09. And our focus today is working with images. More specifically, we're going to walk through how to perform masking an image. And masking allows us to take a part of an image and make it transparent. So right now that might not seem like a big deal, but it actually allows us to get very creative when we're working with images. So let's get started. First, we have a picture. Here I have a picture of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. So this makes a really nice backdrop for us to get started with. So now we need another image to interact with this one. So I'm going to bring in Mr. Dog. Hi, Mr. Dog. He wants to go to Paris. The only problem is that these two images do not go together very well, do they? So yeah, I can make him smaller, but still he's trapped in his white box. And you'll notice that a lot of images that you find on the internet have this constraint. So Pages has a great tool to help us out with this. It's called Instant Alpha. So if I go up here to Format, down towards the bottom is Instant Alpha. And Instant Alpha allows us to take a color this really only works if the color is a solid color instead of a gradient like we see in the sky here. So since this background is solid white, I can use my mouse. So if you look at the cursor, it now has created a crosshair when I go on this image. And all I have to do is click with my mouse and drag. And the more I drag, the more it will try and remove this color. And the color is white, but I have to be careful because if I go too far, it's going to make him transparent. So there's a fine line here. Sometimes you have to do this in sections, but in this case, I'm gonna let go of the mouse and just click off of the image. And there we go, that actually looks pretty good on the first try. So now Mr. Pug, here he is on his tour of Paris. He now fits in pretty well with the background. So this is kind of a simple version. Instant Alpha can be very helpful, but only if the color in the background is pretty solid. So now let's take a look at what would happen if we have a background color that isn't solid. Maybe it's just a little too crazy. I'm gonna bring in a new image. This will be our background. And this is a surfer. He's doing a pretty amazing trick. Now I wanna add something else to this this composition. I think I'm going to make my son come into the image and make him a surfer too. Now Jake, my nine-month-old son, probably isn't quite at the level of this guy, but hey, who needs to know that? We're just going to cheat a little bit. So I think I'm going to make a postcard to send to his grandma and show, him, show her how great he is at surfing on his first try. So look at this background. I want to cut him out of the background, but way too many colors. I cannot use Instant Alpha. So I'm going to use another tool, and it's called Masking. So we're going to go up here to Shapes. And we have lots of different shapes here allow us to get very creative. But in this case, we want to go to the very last option, which allows us to create our own shape. So I'm going to select this. Notice that my cursor has now turned into like an old-fashioned ink pen tip. And this acts as almost a pair of digital scissors. So we can go around whatever it is that we want to cut out and just slowly making a click at a time, I can slowly start cutting out the image. And if I find that I kind of mess up, maybe along the way I did something wrong, I can always go up to edit and undo, add point, and take myself back a couple steps. So I don't always have to start all over. This can actually get kind of messy if you just start clicking randomly. So as I go around here, I will start to cut Jake out of his background. Now I'm going a little bit faster than normal. The closer together your points are, the more smooth the image will look. But for this purpose, I think we can cheat a little bit. So now I've come full circle. This is a very important step. We have to connect the last dot to the first dot. And you'll notice here with my cursor that it makes a little white circle. So that's when I'm clicking or moving my mouse rather over that original starting point. So I want to click that to connect the dots. 
and now here I have a shape. Now I can look at this and see if this is kind of how I want it to be. Now this is a little bit sloppier than I would normally accept, so let's see if it'll work. The next step, now that we have this shape, is we need to select the original picture. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the original picture. So now I have both the original and the new shape selected together. And go up to format. And same area where we did instant alpha, just above that is mask with selected shape. So I've selected this shape that I've made myself and I'm going to say yes. Now it has made everything else transparent. Be careful about this slider. This can really mess you up. We're not ready for that yet. And just click off of the image anywhere on the screen. And now here I have little Jake cut out from his background and the surfer. So now we're going to combine these two. Let's make Jake the surfer. So I want to reposition him, resize him a little bit. There he is, happy as can be, surfing away. Maybe a little bit out of proportion, but you know, we need to see some details here too. So one thing that we can do um, is play around with rotation. So if we come up here to Inspector, and Inspector allows us to control multiple as aspects of this program in any document we're working with. So right now we're going to what's called the Metrics Inspector. So here I have my Jake and I can play around with his position, his size, and in this case I can play around with rotation. So if I wanted to rotate the image so it kind of looks a little bit more natural, I can do that. And you can also do flips, do all sorts of stuff, so this can be really helpful. So I'm going to move this around here until it looks just right, and then I can click off of it. Close out Inspector, and there I've got Jake surfing. So now I might want to move this around or resize it, but look, we're kind of having an issue here because these are two separate pieces. What we want to do next is join these together. So we're going to do what's called grouping. This is very simple. All we have to do is select the original background and holding shift again, select our other image, in this case little Jake. Go up to arrange which is also the place where you can make objects come forward or go backward if you're having issues with layers. But we're going to go down here to group. And what group does is it combines all these together so now this is one image. So here we are, I've got my postcard to send to grandma. This is how to do image masking and instant alpha. So I hope you've learned a little bit more about pages and you can get more creative in your future projects. I look forward to seeing what you're going to create next. Please tune in for our next software tutorial and thanks for watching.